What is going on you guys? Kenny Valdez back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna be working on the Integra. And I'm glad to say that uh, I finally found some time to start doing the body work, to start sanding down everything and getting, uh, getting it ready for paint. So this is gonna be quite a lengthy process, but not too bad because the car overall isn't, isn't that terrible. It's just that I haven't done this in a while, uh, so it's kind of like relearning everything all over again. Um, the only major areas that it's going to be difficult to do would be this fender because it's got something underneath there. I got to I gotta basically strip this down to bare metal to see what's going on with this fender. Other than that, it's probably just spot putty around the, uh, around the body. The rest of the body's got little tiny tiny dings that you probably can't even tell in in camera yes yeah, so that's what we got planned today so finally 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 starting to work on this car again let's get to it i've neglected you sorry integra sorry sabrina or is it mia damn i even forgot her name that's embarrassing sorry mia oof November and it's still like a hundred degrees out in Florida. It's gotta love it, gotta love it. First things first, I wanted to move the Integra inside because it is hotter than the balls of Olympus outside. But we're gonna start sanding down the bumpers, um, getting that ready to go. And uh, let's get right to it. guys it's been a few minutes now and uh oh more than a few minutes about an hour and uh this is as far as i got today i got the bumper all sanded down um got rid of the scratches with 180 and then went over the whole thing with 320 i still got to get into like some tiny crevices like this license plate area and alongside uh this edge here um and then at the very very top here but I'd say like 95% of the bumper is done um, being sanded. And then I went ahead and marked all the little dings um, that I found. So I got quite a few that I'm going to be uh, spot putting, sanding down real nicely. And then basically uh, doing similar to what I did on that just with spot putty. As far as the roof goes, I got like this area where water gets into it's like some surface rust. Um, as far as the front goes, I'm gonna, like I said earlier, sand this whole thing down. I got one little spot there, one little spot there, and then a few on this fender, um, and then a few along this, this side. This side's not as bad as the driver's side, but still got quite a few. I doubt I got all of them. I still gotta go through it and make sure I, you know, during, when there's, when there's more daylight and sun's beaming on this thing. Um, I can really spot where each and every ding is at. But yeah, it looks like this vlog is gonna continue till tomorrow. Uh, continue to tomorrow, I should say. But for an uh, hour and a half of work, I'm okay with. It's not too bad. Um, hopefully I can continue doing this every single day. That's the goal. That way I don't lose motivation on it. Just keep working at it um, each and every day until the body work is done and all I have to do is paint it. So hopefully I do a good job on that. That way the paint can come out great. And um, yeah, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. It is uh, a few days later and I suck at vlogging. But anyways, as you guys can see, this whole side is pretty much done. I took off the moldings because I absolutely hated the moldings on this car. I feel like it just made it look older. I don't know. I just really hated them. So I got the quarter panel done. Um, I've got the door done. I took off the fenders because, let's see, which one is it? This fender is a little bit more clapped out than I thought after really looking at it. And it's 
more than what I'm capable of doing. So I'm gonna hand it off. Well, these two fenders. This one's not too bad, but might as well give up, give both of them to to somebody I know in the auto body industry, because um, that's just like I said, more than what I'm capable of fixing. So I'm just gonna give that to somebody that really knows what they're doing. Started on the hood. Pretty much, I think the hood's done. Yeah, it was only like two little dings. It was like one here, so I put putty there, put putty over there, sanded it all down with 320, and as well as the rest of the. Uh, the bumper as i mean the hood as far as the bumper goes i don't really have to do much to it besides sand it uh, and then fix this little gouge i don't know if it picks up on camera you can kind of see it on camera maybe and then fix kind of like this mess other than that it's not too bad and then this side I have yet to touch the passenger side or the roof and the trunk Oh, and bumper is pretty much 90% done, um, sanding as well. So yeah, all that's left is roof, door, quarter panel, and trunk. And then the body kit, side skirts, lip, which is not on the car currently, and the uh, spoiler. And it's pretty much done. Each panel takes me anywhere from like one to two and a half hours. Like the larger panels obviously take me longer. Um, the more body work I have to do, the longer it takes me. So I would say in the next couple days, as long as I keep working on it frequently, consistently, it should be it should be done. The body work should be done in a few days. And all that's left to do is uh, paint it. Mask it off and paint it. It doesn't help that my compressor, I didn't record this as well, kind of took a shit on me. Kinda, not really, kinda. It's like leaking air down here. Focus. Down there somewhere on this like hard line. But in this general area, it's it's a Harbor Freight compressor, so. Oh, and then I forgot I have to do this little back panel here as well. I didn't do this yet. Not, not a whole lot to do. I mean, kind of, not really. I'd say I'm about halfway there, I think. Like I said, as long as I keep working on it consistently, I should be done soon. And if you are an Integra owner and you're wondering how to take these moldings off, what I kind of did, which I'm not too sure if it's the right way, but I kind of got one of these prying plastic tool thingies and I kind of like pried it in between and kind of just break off the clips. Um, as far as the rest of them go, you can kind of just, yeah, just like that. You just want to like just kind of bend it i try not to apply too much pressure because i don't want to create more damage to the uh to the panel so just be careful while you're doing it because on the other side i kind of pried it a little bit too hard and it kind of like lifted the hole but it doesn't matter anyways because the holes that you guys see there i'm going to be welding it shut and then um putting some putty or body filler probably putty whatever is the correct way of doing it and sanding it all down make it nice and smooth but um yeah and then if you're wondering how to take off these little plastics they kind of just you can just pull them out usually there we go just twist and pull it comes off
next day. Uh, I realized last night I didn't end the video. So here we are, Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving to anybody who's watching this on Thanksgiving Day. Hope you guys have uh, some good turkey today. But anyways, last night I uh, kind of finished off sanding down the bumper, about 90%. I still got to fix this uh, weird kind of, uh, yeah, mm -hmm, that. So now that the bumper is pretty much done, got all the little crevices done down there and even underneath the bumper, I can now move on to the door panel, the passenger side door and get this all squared away and kind of work my way around, finish off with the roof. And slowly but surely, she's getting there, guys. She is getting there. But um, yeah, guys, it's probably where I'm gonna end today's video. I'm going to continue to work on this car, starting to do the rest of the body panels and I'll continue recording that way. I have more content to upload. So the next video you guys see is kind of me finish, finishing up the body work. Um, it should get done by next video. That's what I'm hoping for. But yeah, guys, that is all for today. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below what you guys think of the Integra so far, even though it doesn't look like shit right now. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.